Hey, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wearetesters.com. Today we got a quick review of the Jordan Mellow M11. I know that this, or wait, it's not the Mellow M11. This is the Mellow M12. I know that you guys have been requesting this shoe quite often ever since they first released. I apologize for the delay, but I do not wish to spend my own hard earned money on really sh colorways. So I was waiting for this guy right here. These though, these are beautiful, man. These remind me of a Jordan team shoe that came out back when I was in like senior year of high school or something like that. I can't remember their name, but I'm gonna post a picture up as soon as I find it. So here's a quick look or an up close look at them. These guys actually have materials that I really like. So I'm hoping that I enjoy the shoe on court. As you can see, they are a textile upper. It's not flimsy though. And I don't know why this is, but some of the colorways that I've seen in store, like I picked them up, I grab them, I hold them, move around the materials and things like that. And some of the other colorways, mostly the black based colorways, they feel really cheap and really flimsy. This pair though, I don't know if it's like something that they've added to the shoe or not, but this pair is just a little bit more sturdier, especially right here at that uh, base of the toe box. So it doesn't feel as cheap or flimsy here. Like it feels like it's got quite a bit of structure right where this like two-toned overlay is at. But basically you can see the, uh, the holes right back here. This is a bunch of ventilation and they have this like mesh kind of material all along it with, uh, it's not foam, it's just kind of like something built into it that makes it look like there's holes all over it. It might even be nylon. I'm not exactly sure as to what it is. And then this side, it has a much more durable feeling material like a like a knitted uh, mesh upper which is really cool i really like the duality of the two and then you have this dynamic fit styled system for the lacing now right where these little loops here meet the shoe itself they're actually stitched in but then the top side of it goes down through the actual shoe attaches itself to the footbed and it's hard to see in there but they are individual that little strand right there they're individual loose strands that move around so it's just like their old dynamic fit but it's just a little bit more uh, I guess structurally sound by attaching it to the base here it's not free floating completely but it still has the same concept where once you tie it up it'll wrap around your foot kind of like fingers and that's the same exact setup that they have for the Air Jordan 30 I have no complaints for that so with that being in this with a slightly uh, I wouldn't say stronger material but just like a, a, a similar soft material with some more support I guess you could say I'm not really sure how to explain it I think I'm gonna dig it hopefully and then you got this uh, synthetic fuse back here it just kind of feels rubbery this is the cheap part of the shoe I'm not a fan of the way that it feels I'm not really a fan of the way that it, it looks either I think that this could have easily have been a really clean piece of leather right here it just I think that would have set it off and it's on such a small portion of the shoe it's like why don't you just do that you know what I mean like you have really nice modern materials up front a little bit of fuse on the toe and then some uh, nice premium material right here on the back I think that would have been like really badass. Something I'm not a fan of is these hyper uh, hyperfuse type of tongues. I haven't liked them ever since the original hyperfuse and I still don't. <laughs> so this thing feels like it's going to cut your your, uh, your ankle real quick. But they do have padding in there which I do like. And one of my favorite features is the heel pillows in there. That thing is awesome. Feels really good on foot as well. And I wish that's how the Air Jordan 30 was because the inside of those is trash. Got some Jumpman branding right there at the heel. This is also an external heel support. So so that you don't move over the footbed. They do have an internal TPU heel counter as well. So I think that the support, as long as the containment is good, will be fine. You got their flight speed system with the unlock zoom in the forefoot. Everything else is just straight foam. And then the traction looks like it'll be pretty good as well. Fairly shallow though, like thin. So I don't know about wearing these outdoors. As far as indoors is concerned though, they look like they'll be a pretty good shoe. And then you can see the fuse right here at the toe, his jersey number seven. So stay tuned for an upcoming performance review. Again, I apologize for it being late. I was just waiting I did not want to waste my money on something that just honestly just looked like garbage. So uh, this was the one that I was waiting for. I'm glad that I did wait. So stay tuned in the coming weeks for a performance review on this shoe. Make sure to stay tuned to my site, weartesters.com, for all your performance needs. And until next time, guys, have a good one.